So this is it. Um, this is my last story ever for WPHS. Uh, this is the last time you will ever see me on the variety show. And um, that that's crazy to say. You know, I spent the last three years um, doing this and putting all my effort towards it. I mean, this is this is literally what made me who I am today. Um, it's helped me so much. Um, especially when it comes to just enjoying high school. Um, I guess for my last story, I kind of just want to sit down, talk, and reflect on these last four years. Four years ago, you know, we all came into high school not knowing who we were, what we wanted to do, you know, and just kind of finding our way, just like every other freshman that's ever <laughs> existed. Babyface JJ, or known as James then, um, Wanted to be an ROTC. <laughs> yes, I was an ROTC. This beard, this iconic beard was never there. Uh, well, it wasn't there. And, uh, and, and ROTC just wasn't me. And I knew it, I wasn't a sports kid. I couldn't sing. I, I mean, maybe I can act, but I just, I didn't want to go on stage, you know, because I have stage fright. What could I do? I wanted to do something so badly in this school, but I had no idea what was there for me. Um, and then I found out about WPHS. In my 10th grade year, I joined, and it, it's literally been the saving grace of my high school career. Um, I met literally the best teacher in the whole entire school, Mr. Sloan. Um, and from there on, you know, it's just, it helped me out so much in every single area of my growth. Um, not in just school, but in personal life, everything. I was able to talk better, I wrote better, I, I felt more confident in everything I did. I was more creative. Um, I found my talent. My talent is speaking, uh, writing, and just being a storyteller. I love telling stories, putting stories out there and educating people on things that happened in the past, things that are going now, and things that could happen in the future. I love getting people to think. I love relaying information that I learned myself, being a source of information for people to come back to and say, hey, what's going on? Well, I can tell you what's going on. <laughs> That's who I am. And I found that out through WPHS, and I, f I don't think I could have been able to do that if I wasn't a part of Patuxent High School. And all the teachers, all the faculty members, they have been so supportive of everything that I've done. But most of the time, I would get all of my feedback from teachers, uh, which every single teacher has ever done that. Truly, honestly, I thank you. I really, I, I really appreciate it. There was a lot of failures along the way. If I didn't fail as much as I did through these four years, I have failed a lot. I've, the, the, you know, oh crap. Yeah, whatever. You will fail so much. That is what I've learned. But failure doesn't always mean bad. I have learned from every single failure that I've ever had, and I'm still learning. You know, just saying that, okay, I failed, is, it isn't enough, you know. You need to be able to say that you will learn from it, you need to figure out how you'll learn from it, and then you need to learn from it. You need to go on and make sure it doesn't happen again. The second and probably the biggest thing that I've learned is if you ever have an idea, if you ever have an aspiration to do something, just ask. Whoever it is that you feel like you have to ask. Paxman, me, Kai Daly, and Josh Martinez. We went to Sloan first. He said, go ask Mr. Watson. Then we asked Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson said yes, and we were not expecting that at all. We were allowed to put on a wrestling match at the pep rally. That was, I w that was something I never thought I would have been able to do, ever, but I did. And I thank you, Mr. Watson. I mean, that was a huge. That was huge for me. Interviewed two WWE Hall of Famers, people that I watched on TV for years when I was a kid, and I looked up to them, and they were like legends to me. I was able to go backstage at a wrestling show and interview wrestlers and interview those Hall of Famers. And if I would have never asked those questions if I would have never asked to say hey are we able to do this is this something we can do you know if I never pitched those ideas I would have never been able to have 
experienced 50% of the things that I've done with WPHS in broadcasting. This has been an amazing four years. Um, I have made so many friends that hopefully I will have for a lifetime. Obviously life is life and I see a lot of you. A lot of you guys are going to uh, great colleges, great universities, trade school programs. Uh, I mean, I have to say I am proud of who we as a class have become. I, I seriously believe that the Patuxent High class of 2021 is going gonna, is gonna to be one of the greatest classes to ever come out of this school. I, I sincerely believe that. Um, all of you football athletes, um, soccer, baseball, like I, I see some of you guys making it to the majors. You, if you keep doing what you do, and you will get there. And you better, because I want to see you on TV while I'm at the club, and I want to say, hey, I know that guy. And then I, I become the coolest dude in the whole, the whole club. But don't, don't let this just be a message to you seniors, hopefully you underclassmen, um, especially you freshmen. Um, are, are listening to this like you know I, I I'm proud of what WPHS has become I'm proud of everyone who has been a part of that program um, with me and I'm 100% confident that it will continue to flourish when I'm when I'm gone this <laughs> this week man um, but yeah so this has been JJ from WPHS and signing off class of 21 mr. Sloan here with a few words of advice Number one, never settle. Number two, never allow yourself to become content. And finally, and most importantly, number three, always challenge yourself to do more. Remember that life is about the quest and the memories you make along the way, not so much the destination. I'll leave you with a line from Fahrenheit 451 that's one of my favorites. I hate a Roman named status quo. Push yourself to be your best. And in the words of Ric Flair, woo! Go get him, everybody. Hey, seniors. This is Mr. Goldstein, AKA Glenn. I just want to take a moment to thank all of you. During what has been the most difficult and challenging time that I can remember in my 35 year career, all of you have reminded me every day that I've had the chance to be with you virtually or lately in person about the importance of the connections we make here at Pax Nation. You're an example of perseverance, of class, fortitude, and it's an honor to have known each and every one of you. I wanna wish you all the best. In the near future, enjoy your summer. Do everything that you can safely in your future. Keep in mind, hopefully, that things change and that each experience well, it probably builds a little bit more on your future. I hope that the time that you spent with me and here at Patuxent High School will be of use to you in the future. Remember, Pax Nation is and always will be a family. Hey seniors, I honestly just wanna wish you the best of luck. I know that your future is going to be very bright and a lot of you hold a special place in my heart. So my heart goes out to you and I honestly just wish you the very best. Hey, it's Hutchin McShay here. And we just want to wish you all the best for the future and sending our love and we're so proud of you. Good luck in the future, guys. Hey, Patuxent. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about no end weird topics in a completely monotone voice. It's been a good four years. Peace out. Hey, class of 2021. It's Miss Sandusky here. Just wanting to say congratulations on graduating. You guys did it. Um, I know it's not the way that obviously people envision uh, their senior year or graduation, and that is what it is, but sometimes you just gotta focus on the good and maybe grow from the unexpected in life, so take it that way. Um, shout out to my old bunch crew that used to sit on the floor and I would yell at them a lot, but I love you guys anyway. Shout out to my sister, but not really my sister, Sean Kintunde, to my field hockey seniors for making the most of an amazing and um, shortened kind of fall season. Love you guys. Shout out to my Paw Prince kids, especially my four year babies, my Kristen and Kay and Chris. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, make life what you want. Super excited to see how you guys represent Pax Nation in the next stage of your life. Congrats guys. Nate. Yeah. What's your favorite high school memory? Definitely doing culture scene disease class. 
And what will you miss? Definitely the teachers. What are you most thankful for? Well, definitely for all the staff for their hard work and appreciation, I guess. And what won't you miss at all? <laughs> I don't even know now that I think about it. Congratulations! We sure missed having you in school this year. Yay! Hey guys, it's Forrest. Just want to take some time out to tell you how extremely proud we are of you. Oh, this has been a really tough time um, to get through um, and accomplish what you have. But just super excited about graduation. Looking forward to seeing all of you guys on June 3rd. So great job. We miss you. I'm um, just really looking forward to seeing what all you guys are going to accomplish. In the world. So good luck to you and the product. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're gonna miss you. Patuxent won't be the same without you, but I wish you the best of luck in your life after Patuxent. We're proud of you. Congrats. Hey guys, I just want to congratulate you guys on graduation. Um, I know the last year probably hasn't been what you envisioned, but I, I think you probably grew stronger because of it. I wish you got to spend some more time with you and Gov last year but I did get to form some great relationships with a lot of you that I'm going to miss a lot. Um, know that I'll always be there for you if you need anything, and I wish you the best of luck in the future, okay? Hey, PAC seniors. Uh, congratulations on your well-deserved success. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. Uh, good luck on your next adventures, but don't forget about us here at Patuxent. Remember, once a panther, always a panther. Bye, guys. Hey guys, Miss Jenkins here. Just want to say congratulations, class of 2021. You made it through this wacky year. It's definitely one for the history books, but you did it. You persevered, and you're going to do great in the future. You can pretty much get through anything now that you've had your senior year in a virtually slash hybrid. But anyhow, good luck, everybody. Hi seniors, we love you guys. It's been so fun working with you these four years and we can't wait to see all the amazing things you do in the future. You guys have made us all proud here at Patuxent and I know that you'll continue to make yourself proud and to do amazing things out in the big blue world. So congratulations, <laughs> keep in touch. Make sure to stay in touch guys, bye-bye. Hi class of 2021, congratulations on graduation. Um, just remember to believe in yourself, work hard, and you can do anything that you want to do. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Hey seniors, got to see a lot of you in your first year here. It was also my first year. Some of you have grown up so much. I'm gonna miss you all. I hope that you make the most of this year and you enjoy your summer after graduation. Good luck in the future. Miss you guys. Right. Can't go wrong. Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you guys a best of luck into the future for I know it's been a tough year for us. Can't imagine what it's been like for you guys, but you've managed to get through it. So whatever you guys are doing in the future, whether it's going to college, whether it's going to do other jobs, trade school, whatever it is, I wish you guys the best of luck. Class of 2021, you guys were a very special class. There's no doubt about it. And if you read what I said in some of the notes that I sent out, it's you're not special because of what you missed. It's not special for what you didn't have. It's you're special because who you are. And you're always gonna have a really special spot in my heart. There were a bunch of, of students I had this year that I had all four years, which I've never had before. So I really got to know you guys. A lot of you guys drove with me with driver's ed. So I was a part of your life with that. And it, it, it it's, I'm really gonna miss you guys. You, you're so much more than just a COVID class. And you're gonna do great things. I looked down at that board where you guys are going off to college. I've talked to you guys about what you're planning on doing with your careers. You're gonna do great things. You're gonna, you are mean so much to the school and we're gonna miss you guys so much and I'm proud of each and every one of you. So good luck, best wishes, come back and visit us. Love you guys. Congratulations, Tuxton High School graduates 2021. Wish you guys the best in all your future endeavors. Hopefully things are getting back to some semblance of order. Um, have a great summer, be careful, and you'll be missed at the Tuxton. Congratulations, seniors! Good luck! We're gonna miss you! Can't wait to hear what your next adventure is. Looking See you forward graduation. to graduation. KIT! Be Thanks. safe if you're going to senior week. No bad decisions. Thank you. We want to read about we you in the paper. Love you guys! Love you guys! Uh, my name is uh, Elijah J.M. Generalo Cowlin.
I'm here to give my uh, formal goodbyes and answer some questions for the senior video. So let's, let's get to go. it. My, <laughs> my favorite high school memory was when I got my first girlfriend. Psych! I'm just kidding. But that's okay. Uh, my favorite memory is uh, being able to make all the friends and stuff that I that I have gained over the four, uh, past four years. What I'm gonna miss is the uh, different types of personalities that the school has, and everyone just like it's, everyone's so unique in their own ways. What I'm most thankful for is the uh, the teachers, definitely. I mean, like you spend a whole year looking at a blank screen. But what I'm not gonna miss about high school is uh, the quizzes. And most importantly, the Microsoft Teams call. All right, waking up to that is terrible, but that's okay. Bye. Hi, um, I'm, I'm Matt Veek, I'm a senior, and um, the thing I'm most thankful for is that um, just the amount of opportunities that I was given from the school, just like, um, like eight AP classes, um, being able to do a lot of extracurriculars while still having enough time to do homework. I found myself having a lot of free time this summer. and. You know, I just I just love the camaraderie of this place. And when I moved here four years ago, I I didn't know what to expect. And I was warm and welcome, welcomed very warmly by the school. Um, other than that, I am going to St. Mary's College, Maryland, right across the river. So I will be able to come and visit. See you there, and good luck, you guys. This is the end of line for me. I want to thank Coach Allen and all the senior football players for welcoming me into the family and making my transition from Calvert much easier. I also want to thank all my teachers I had over the years for helping me throughout high school. The Ducks and Panther to McDaniel Green Terror this is Will Rickwood, WPHS, signing off. Do you remember that time we all did the thing we always do and we went and everything went exactly as it was planned? No? Me either. See, the best stories, the greatest memories, and the greatest people, are those formed under pressure. As you move forward, remember to be grateful for the hardest days. Those are going to be the days you remember best. Diamonds, like you, are formed under pressure. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wish you well as you move forward, beginning the next stage of your life. You will cross the stage on June 3rd at Patuxent High School, at your home school, the place you've been for the past four years. Although the last year and a half has been very different for you, you have made it. You have completed the tasks that are necessary with many ups and downs along the way. And I would say that I have the ultimate respect for you as a graduating class due to the fact that no graduating class has dealt with more than the class of 2021. This includes the class of 2020. You have persevered. You have taken on challenges, used your resources, and there you will stand on June 3rd as a high school graduate from Patuxent High School. Chase your dreams. Don't give up. If anything, these past 16 months have taught us it is that we can overcome we can adapt we can change to chase our dreams and meet our goals i wish you well you will always be a panther and you're always welcome at patuxent high school congratulations again chase your dreams don't give up Fight for what you want.